it's Miss Lucy. I hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're not going to be making anything. We're uh, going to be talking a bit more. Talking about dinosaurs. So, I'm sure you guys all know what a dinosaur looks like. There's shows, there's movies, but just in case you've never seen what a dinosaur looks like, here's what it looks like. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sure we all have a mental idea you know, of what we think a dinosaur is. However, I've come to discover that it is not exactly as we think. If you were to think, what's the closest animal to a dinosaur? I'm sure lots of us would be like, oh, a snake, an alligator, a Komodo dragon, something along the lines of a reptile. But we would be sorely mistaken. In fact, the closest relatives currently to dinosaurs are birds. That's right, birds. Just We all know what a bird looks like. They live in trees. They live in burrows. Sometimes we have them as pets. We eat them all the time. There's one that wakes me up in the morning. <laughs> and we would never think that that's what a dinosaur is. But fun fact, in 2008, there was a study done on a 68 million year old tissue cell of a dinosaur. That's what we're made of. We're made of tissues. And they compared it to 21 animals that we have now, including chimpanzees, alligators, reptiles. And out of those 21 animals, they found that the two closest relatives to the T-Rex were the ostrich and the chicken. How crazy is that? A common chicken, the things we eat, is the closest thing to a T-Rex? It's amazing. And so today we're going to look a little bit more into that. We're going to maybe compare some things, look up close, and maybe hopefully learn something new. So, to give you guys a bit more of a visual for what it's like, I want to show you guys this picture. This is a rough illustration of the transformation from dinosaur to bird. So this is what we are looking at. I'm going to read off the names, but <laughs> it's I can't guarantee I'm going to pronounce them correctly. <laughs> so from left to right, we have a Neotheropod, which is the big one, a Tetanerin, <laughs> which is the um the following one. So a neotheropod, a tetanerin, and then we have a coelosaur. Co, co, co yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> and a peravian. So there we go. A coelosaur and a peravian. And as you see, they're slowly shrinking down. This one's starting to get feathers. And lastly, we have, and this is the hardest one to pronounce, an Archaeopteryx. I hope I said that right. And from there, you see this one already looks like a full bird. It's not, but it's it, this is what we would look like and be like, yeah, that's a bird. And you can see the ele <laughs> elevation, evolution from one to the other. And this was not pure luck. So it turns out that birds have, or the dinosaurs of that time, which were very bird-like, had a lot of luck in their favor, but a lot of important things in their body that they needed to survive. As we all know, asteroids hit and they wiped out a lot of the dinosaurs, but a lot of the smaller ones were able to survive, to adapt, and to evolve. So let's go a bit into that. Okay, currently we are on our way to see some dinosaurs. Let's see. Oh, do you guys hear them? Hi, ladies. 
Here they are. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. How are you guys today? <laughs> okay. Now if you see here, you see she has this shark beak. She's got these big claws just like a velociraptor would. And if you see her running, it is the same way that a velociraptor runs. And believe it or not, a lot of scientists have now learned that a lot of of the um a lot of the dinosaurs that we thought had scales and like oh She was getting angsty. She doesn't like being away from her friends. <laughs> but a lot of the uh, dinosaurs that we thought were like scaly and like reptiles are actually a lot more closer to birds. They have the same claw shape. They have the same backwards hinge on their legs. They run the same. And a lot of dinosaurs actually had feathers. How crazy is that? Feathers. So. Next time you see some type of bird, think, oh my god, this is a real life dinosaur. If I were to show you this picture, what do you think this claw comes from? I think so many of us would think that is a dinosaur claw. But it is actually the claw of a southern cassowary. So, I'm sure a lot of us don't know what that is. Let me explain. This is what a cassowary looks like. They are a bird species that can grow up to five feet tall, which is just very scary. Birds that are tall are always scary to me. But they mostly live in um, New Guinea, Indonesia, Australia. They're uh, an Asian bird. They have Look at that. This big, like, helmet on their head. And they have huge claws, as I showed you before. And now tell me that this bird doesn't look like... Tell me it doesn't look like this dinosaur. Look at the similarities. The beak, the little helmet. They have feathers, the big claws. And look at this <laughs> dinosaur compared to a human. That is terrifying. Honestly, I don't... I don't know how we can look at birds and not think they're dinosaurs. So then, let's run down a list of what we have learned and what I might have missed on how dinosaurs compare to birds. One. They have the beaks. Yes, a lot of dinosaurs had beak-like structures on their mouths. A lot of them had teeth in their beaks, which is a little gross, but beaks. The claws. I know we saw that in the cassowary, and I showed you my chickens. They have very similar claws. What else? Let's see. Oh, the helmet that the cassowary had. A lot of dinosaurs had similar things. Some had a full-on helmet, like like the actual cassowary, and some had just helmet-like spikes on their body, reminiscent of that. Um, what else? The weird backwards legs. I'm sure you guys have all noticed that birds have these like weird backwards-facing legs. They're weird. <laughs> but dinosaurs had the same thing. What else? Nests. Birds make nests, they all come from eggs, and the dinosaurs did the same thing. Dinosaurs all come from eggs, and they have found, unfortunately not many, but quite a few enough for us to see eggs and little nests that have been made by dinosaurs. Um, and they brood as well. Sorry, I had to close my my window but they brood 
And brooding is what birds do when they sit on their nest to kind of warm it up because they were, they have to try and keep their babies incubated. And they have actually found a fossil of a dinosaur brooding over its nest, trying to protect its eggs. So that's, <laughs> that's already so many things. It is mind-boggling to think that these huge, amazing creatures turned in to the animals that we see every day, everywhere. So next time you see a bird, a chicken, a duck, any type of bird, admire it for it is a dinosaur. <laughs>